This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. What's up, party people? Welcome to another edition of In the Spotlight. I'm your host, David Naylor, from the Get Ready Production Social Media Network. Today in the Spotlight, we're going to talk to you about Amazon's latest acquisition of a company called Ring. If you want to be inspired and motivated to become an entrepreneur, this is the In the Spotlight for you. Stand by. We're about to go to the video. Amazon is expanding its presence in the smart home market. The e-commerce giant announced yesterday it has officially closed the deal to buy the home security device company Ring. It's a reported $1 billion acquisition, making it one of Amazon's biggest purchases. Ring, founded in 2013, has more than 3 million users. It's best known as a smart doorbell maker. The device is a Wi-Fi-enabled doorbell that streams live audio and HD Hello. video. It lets users see what's happening on their property and even communicate with visitors even when no one's home. Only on CBS This Morning Ring CEO and chief inventor Jamie Siminoff is here. Jamie, good morning. Hey, thanks. Um, congratulations on, on the Amazon deal. So how will that, that change the company? You know, what's great about Amazon, and they have a great history of this in purchasing other businesses, is it doesn't change us. Um, they're going to let us sort of keep, continue to do what we're doing with the same team and keep building uh, towards our mission of reducing crime in neighborhoods. And how do you reduce crime in neighborhoods? So the ring doorbell, by delivering presence, so by being able to see and speak to who's at your front door from anywhere, from your phone, we've actually been able to prove that that, that can um, reduce crime in neighborhoods. We did a study with the LAPD where we actually reduced crime by 55% in a neighborhood by just putting 10% of the homes with ring. And we know that less people will probably steal those Amazon boxes on your doorstep. <laughs> that would, <laughs> that would be, ring, that would be great, great as well, great as well. <laughs> Jamie, I want to go back to the garage in which you <laughs> created this. So we're, when you were in that garage, Steve Jobs also was in a garage. First of all, was that what you were thinking? or And were you thinking <laughs> someday this is going to be a great big payoff? Take us from that moment to where you are now. It's funny because I think people like think that, but like when you're in your garage, I mean, you're literally broke in your garage. Like it doesn't seem exciting or I, I, I would say, I, so I didn't have any visions of grandeur that I was going to be a billion dollar plus, you know, exit or something. Uh, in the future, I was just trying to create stuff that I thought was interesting. And I was actually working on something completely different, which was a gardening startup, and I couldn't hear the doorbell. And so I built, just in my garage, built this Wi-Fi doorbell, and it was my wife who said it made her feel safer at home. So this comes out of your solution to try to something else. You discovered this. Yeah, it literally came out of the garage. <laughs> oh, man, well, let, go ahead. I was going to say, we, we have one of these in, a, in our Washington home, and it's a great piece of technology. But you're recording audio, you're recording video. Yep. What are the privacy concerns that you've tried to address? So Ring is a security company, and we're a brand. And I think to be a trusted brand, and if you want to accomplish our mission of reducing crime in neighborhoods, you have to start with security and privacy and protecting people's data. If you don't do that, no one will trust me to protect their home. And so for us, it's a core of the company's values. I'm going to ask you another personal question. <laughs> Shark Tank yes. gave you the thumbs down. Tell me, was that the kick in the pants you needed, or was it a kick in the gut, or just what was uh, the reaction? So, I mean, I literally, at the time, I was still in the garage. I drove home. It, they film in Los Angeles. My garage is in Los Angeles, and I drove home broke from Shark Tank. Um, <laughs> I was down, but at the same time, I was in such debt at that point that the only thing I could do was to keep going. And so I was kind of forced to just keep, you know, keep plugging away and, and, and just try to build it into something. And have you sent Mark Cuban a copy uh, a, a <laughs> product um, now that it's, uh, you've had this news? You know, it, I, I, the, it being on Shark Tank, airing on Shark Tank, got us such awareness nationally that it actually really kind of saved the business. So even though we didn't get a deal, in the end, actually being on the show was probably one of the biggest things that happened for the company. So I thank those sharks every single day for what they did for us, and I really appreciate they did it as a volunteer job and didn't take any money. Let's tick, some, tick through some things real quickly. For those who don't know Ring, not familiar with it, yep. how much is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. So Ring ranges from $99 is our Ring Video Doorbell Classic, mm -hmm. uh, up to uh, like $249 for the Pro. So we have four different models around the front door, and we try to build all of our products are outdoor sort of security that allow you to deliver presence. We have a floodlight camera, spotlight cameras. So we have a bunch of different uh, products in the line all around reducing crime in neighborhoods. Right, because you've, you've moved beyond the doorbell. Yes, 
and we call that the rings of security. So you want to always start at the front door because that's where stuff happens in a neighborhood and then work your way kind of around the house and around the neighborhood. Where does the ring end? How far out do you want to make it go? Uh, so neighborhood is kind of our, like, that's where we like to look at is like, that's what we're protecting. And so we have a neighborhoods app. You can actually download Ring, uh, the app, and sign up for the neighborhoods. It's, it's just a free part of the app. So you don't even need to have the product. And you'll see there's stuff happening in your neighborhood. You'll get the videos. You'll be sharing it. So for us, it's, it's all about how do we protect that neighborhood and how do we make it safer? All right. Jimmy right. Simonoff off from the garage to our table. Thanks thank so you. much. For being hey, thank you so much. Congratulations. If you like this episode of In The Spotlight, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video channel. If you want to support Get Ready Productions social media network, you can purchase my mother's book that I published called Mom Said, A Little Book to Grow By. It's 66 biographical rhymes of American historical figures that overcame great adversity to succeed and achieve the American dream. Thank you for checking in for another edition of In the Spotlight.